Spirit Spirits. It's so nice of you to stop by. Why don't you pause this video, go get a cup of tea, and join me for these brief moments of peace and tranquility.
Hello everyone and welcome to Contemplation Corner. It's been a while and since it's the holiday, I thought we'd do an unboxing. I want to say Hag Sameach and Happy Pesach to all of my Jewish friends and Happy Easter, Happy Resurrection Day to everyone else. <laughs> Today we're drinking dandelion tea. Just a little bit of a health tonic, and it's pretty good. I enjoy it. Well, let's start unboxing. Now, for those of you who don't know, I get a box every month from a company called Lev ha ha Lev ha Olam, <laughs> which in Hebrew means heart of the world. And this is just something I do to bless Israel. And so since this is the Passover Easter season, it seemed like a perfect time to do an unboxing. So let's get to it. Okay. Here's the box, Lev HaOlam. Okay. What it is, it's a company that um, sends you all of the crafts and the wares that companies in Israel make. And it's a way to bless Israel during the pandemic when so many shops have been quarantined and closed. So um, I've been really enjoying everything that I've been getting in my box. So if you're interested, I am happy to send you the information. It'll be down below and it's absolutely worthwhile. And I have never gotten a box that I didn't like the contents. It's always been a home run. So here we go. Okay. okay let's get rid of that. And Let's see. This is just a, a, a card, just sending the well wishes from Israel. Then they give you uh, this pamphlet that basically tells you about the craftsmen and the artisans and uh, the people who are producing all of this stuff. So if you'd like a little background on the people who make all this stuff, that's what this is. And the stories are wonderful. So that's something you can read after you open your box. Oh my goodness, look at this. Can you see this? Look at all this. Isn't this fun? Well, first is this interesting book. It's called the Karen Tahilim. And I believe this is a book of Psalms. But let's find out. It is. This is a book of the Psalms. And they give it to you. Let me just over here, Psalm 50. So uh, it starts with a beautiful illustration of the land of Israel. And they give it to you in Hebrew and in English. Isn't that beautiful? And it's a nice size that you can carry it or keep it. Like for some of us who have big purses, you can just throw this right in. When you go to Starbucks, whip it out and just read a psalm. Um, it's beautiful and very well made. So, fantastic. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. What a blessing that is. Well, already the box is a hit. <laughs> I'm already really happy. So, um, let's go to this because I'm hungry. Oh, here we have mixed nuts grown and produced in the Jordan Valley. So this is the real deal. You get cashews, pistachios, almonds, and pecans. What more could you want? Excellent, excellent. And I'm just gonna open it because I'm really hungry right now. If you don't mind. Let's see if I can get it. Yes, okay. Ooh. Nuts from the Holy Land. I have never had that, but let's go with the cashew. Mmm. 
Nice and salty. Delicious. Wonderful. All right. Look at this. Here is, this is interesting. This is a bar of white chocolate with cinnamon. Wow. Now, I don't eat white chocolate, but I'd be happy to bless somebody with this. So, very nice. Oh, look at this. What is this? Prayer cards. Let's find out. And each prayer card has just a beautiful painting on the back, which is lovely. And so you can pray for renewal, thankfulness, joy, sleep, giving, forgiveness, uh, prayer, change, love, fear, control, blessing, movement, peace, health, anger, protection, and victimhood. Interesting. And what's nice is, again, small enough where you can just keep it in your purse and whip it out when you need it. You could be sitting in traffic, sitting at a red light, and you can just whip this out and say a quick prayer. I love it. It's wonderful. So, let's go on. This is dried mushrooms for pasta. Terrific, isn't that wonderful? Oh, that's great. Wonderful, wonderful. And what's this? A red thread from King David's tomb. Okay. I have no idea what this is or what it's about. Let's find out. <laughs> Okay, so if I open it up, okay, so here's the red thread, okay, and it says there's an ancient custom of tying a red thread on the wrist for protection and providing a good eye. This thread was blessed at the tomb of King David of Israel, a psalm for David, Hashem is my shepherd, I shall not lack. Very nice. That kind of borders on, um, you know, luck, and uh, that's kind of like something unsaved people do. I don't really believe that because it's really not biblical, but um, it's still nice that it came right there from King David's tomb. So, very nice. Okay. Let's continue. I'll just keep this in here. Oh, more food. So it's a good thing. <laughs> Ray, uh, Rachelli's or Rachel's cookie box. Oh, yes. Yes, look at this. You get, oh my goodness, I love all this already. <laughs> Sesame seed cookies with sunflower seeds and cranberries, walnuts, pumpkin seeds. Peaches, cinnamon. I love it already, so let's have one. <laughs> it's like a kid on your birthday. Well, this looks the most interesting. This with the uh, almonds, so let's try this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, this was so much fun, and I hope you enjoyed it. So until I see you next time, God bless and happy holidays.